Coming up, we help you build your brand with a look at custom login plugins, as well as coming soon page login plugins. Seven months later, we finally have some clear cut winners on Press This. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always a pleasure to see you. Guess what? What's up? We hit over a thousand fans this past weekend. It was actually two weekends ago by the time that yeah, you're seeing this. Right. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Um, we, we really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, definitely really appreciate that. We want to hear from you. Do you love the show? Do you like the show? Where do you watch the show? How do you want to watch the show in another place? We're trying to get it on iTunes as soon as we get a chance to wrap it all up, turn it into an actual podcast. Do you, you hate the show? Do you hate the show? With the passion of a thousand suns, and would you like us to change something about That's it? That's right. Let us know. Sometimes people don't like our banter, but hey. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. So, interesting episode today. If you're yeah. somebody who's been watching all of our membership mm -hmm. uh, plugin reviews and you're interested in launching your membership site, you might ask yourself, what happens if I'm not ready to launch? Mm -hmm. And what happens when I do launch? Mm -hmm. How do I kind of keep my brand all in sync during right. both of these phases, mm -hmm. the beginning and the end kind of thing. Uh, so we're going to give you two ideas and four plugins to kind of help you with that. Yeah, there's nothing more frustrating than going to like a website <laughs> and getting completely taken out or any experience for that matter, whether it be movies, music, anything and getting taken out of that experience. And I think that like, for example, you know, if you're going on a website that's live, but they're kind of half working on it or something, mm -hmm. you know, it's sort of like sort of like a behind the scenes, but not in a good way. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, let's say you're part of a cultivated community that somebody's built and you go to log in and you log into this website and it just says WordPress. What's that? It's kind of a failure of an experience, right? You're like, yeah, oh, yeah. it looks so good on the well, front end. Why didn't you guys just take two seconds it, to style this? And this is a WordPress web show and we're a WordPress based company, but there are tons of people out there who don't have no idea what WordPress is. They mm -hmm. just want to be a part of a community and talk about stuff. So when they see WordPress, they might, you know, think strangely of it right right um, so no, you're that's a, that's a good that's a good point because people might be like what is this wordpress thing i'm logging yeah. into here yeah um so yeah that's a great point that's so something i didn't even think of and it's good to just keep your brand going that way uh yep. so our solution today we have four plugins to talk about so we're just jam-packed today uh we have custom login 2.0 by the frosty versus Erident custom login and dashboard by jutera labs those will be your plugins that will turn your wordpress login into a more branded plugin a login i'm sorry um and then the other two we're going to have at the other end of the show is going to be ultimate coming soon page by seed prod versus ultimate landing page and coming soon by think landing pages. And these are going to be the, you know, our pages down, our websites down for, you know, or for, you know, um, we either just testing building it or now. building it, or we're coming up with something and we want to tell you about it. Yeah. Those kind of things. Yeah. Sweet. So let's take it from uh, the custom login stuff. Let's. Uh, you take a look at, you use custom login 2.0. This is one that you like. Almost 200,000 downloads. Oh, yeah. 3.7 yeah. out of 5 stars. Probably not the best, but not on the low end. You know, mid, yeah. mid, to, mid to high. And, my, my, uh, and my, it's been updated recently. Yes. Which, yeah, yeah. Within the last month or so. I have them written down here. If they okay. says updated recently, it's probably within the past month or, or so. Okay. Um, yeah, not a great rating. And I think part of that comes to the fact that there really isn't a whole lot going on here, which right. is which is sort of the reason why we're looking at four of them today for you, because there isn't a ton happening here, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. You're just, you know, getting a good solution to a problem you might have. Right. Uh, so I really like custom login. It's a very, very simple, um, friendly plugin to use to create a custom login page. You select your background color. It shows you the color right on the screen. You can actually set how uh, opaque it is. So if you want to have it look a little translucent and cool, you can do that. Mm -hmm. It's got a simple turn on, turn off activation. So you can quickly turn it on and turn it off depending on if you want it or not. Um, logo, uh, logos are very easy as well. You can actually just click on there, uh, put it in a URL, or you can browse your media library and throw a logo right in oh, there. That's very nice. I like yeah. that little integration. Yeah, so really good integration into uh, <clears throat> custom login. Very simple to use. Uh, really, a lot of really, options for something that's so basic. Yeah, <laughs> and they got CSS, HTML, and jQuery and, and whatnot. And that might be maybe another reason why it has a, a lower rating too, because it's basic. There are some kind of confusing things. Like if you're trying to make a login and you see jQuery and you're like, I don't yeah. know what that's going I, One on. of your highlights that you put in here was the stealth login, the change yeah, the URL of the yeah. login and for bot protection. So I, I look at that. I'm like, that's really cool. But yeah, maybe yeah. somebody had issues with that. But right, right, right. who and knows? That, and that's an add-on too for the, the thing that you'd, you'd, you'd get separately of it. But it does have support for that, which is nice. Excellent. Um, stealth login, by the way, is just uh, creating a different slug basically for your URL when you log in so that it's not just 
WP dash login is something a little bit more specific to your website. Awesome. Um, your next contender, Aridant custom login and dashboard gets yep. 32,000. So just a th quarter of the, uh, no, less Not than that. Not even. Yeah. Like a sixth, uh, a sixth yeah. of, uh, what custom login 2.0 does 4.9 out of five stars. I mean, yeah. not bad. 32,000 downloads. Great rating. Great rating. Great rating. It has been updated in a while. It was April actually. And yep. we're, we're filming this in uh, late June yep. now and it was updated in April. Uh, so not updated super, super recently, but not terrible, terrible. It's not one of those plugins that has like cobwebs growing from it or anything like that. <laughs> right. Right. Um, but uh, Aridant custom login and dashboard is, uh, if, if custom login was visually friendly, this is a little bit more visually friendly and the way they sort of break down, sort of the way it looks. So they have windows for each section of it. Um, again, it's very similar. The only thing I will say is they actually make it more difficult with the login, with the logos, which is gonna be, I mean, you have a login page, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be a window with username, password, and your logo, and maybe a color. Right. You know what I mean? And they make that more difficult. Yeah. So right there, I'm almost sort of inclined to give custom login 2.0 the, the nod, mm -hmm. because you have to link a URL to it. Mm -hmm. And it's not difficult, it's just sort of like one of those things. It's yeah. not very visually friendly. It's just, you have to put your, um, Logo in the uh, the repository already, not in the repository. In your media, in your media library, library, grab the URL. So it's a couple extra steps. No one really likes that. Yeah. <laughs> they I want it nice and easy. And the other thing I will say about it is it says it's a custom login and dashboard. But I mean, literally what the dashboard settings are, and I researched this uh, to make sure I, was, I wasn't, it was, they weren't kidding. There's literally two things you can do to the dashboard to make it look more branded to you. So if you have other people contributing to your website and you don't want it to look as WordPressy, this isn't the solution for you, mm -hmm. even though the title may mislead you it is misleading yeah basically your dashboard settings are what do you want the left side footer and the right side footer of your dashboard to say mm. other than that it looks exactly like wordpress yeah, literally, dashboard if you, like if you go right in here and you're in your dashboard here yeah it looks just like it but we have ooh, powered by slow uh, studio yes. yeah woo yeah so not interesting so, so i would i would give the nods to login 2.0 personally um, excellent they're both free plugins though so you're, of course you're welcome to try it out and fall into whichever one you prefer excellent in fact all four of these plugins by the way are free and the most easy. simplistic way to use these plugins and most people are going to do is going to just going to replace the wordpress logo right above the username and password right. uh login so that they can put their own company mm -hmm. logo especially if you're running all these popular membership sites yeah some membership want. plugins might even do it for you i don't remember off the top of my uh, head but if they don't some of them i recall did have that ability capability built into them somewhere excellent custom login but these are easy enough to, to get into anyway and they're free one so. of my favorite plugins oh yeah coming up oh yeah this and, is a great one. And, and it's just because it's so damn easy. Yeah. And it just works. And there's actually a lot of options when you need it. Uh -huh. um, is Ultimate Coming Soon page mm -hmm. by Seed Prod yep. uh, versus Ultimate Landing Page and Coming Soon by Thinking Think Landing Pages. Yep. So Ultimate Coming Soon page almost had a half a million downloads, 400,000 mm -hmm. as of this uh, video. 4.7 yep. out of 5 stars. Very you can't nice. beat that. Um, updated uh, very, very recently. It was uh, uh, three days ago. Three days ago. Um, hey, I, I use this all the time. New client sites launch. Boom, we put it in an ultimate coming soon page. That doesn't turn off until the client puts in mm -hmm. their uh, mm -hmm. content or they're ready to launch. They've been trained. They're ready to go. All you do is hit deactivate or Enable, enable, or Uncheck disable. Uncheck yes on enable, and, it's, and your it's, site's back up and running. It's so awesome. It looks just like when you're editing it, um, the page, it looks just like a page creation for um, like a typical page creation on WordPress. Uh, it, it, there's just so much stuff to love about this. There's a live preview section right there. So after you save your changes, you can just hit live preview, and it literally brings I up a window. I never noticed the live preview. It literally brings I up a window. I never even noticed it that. It tells you exactly what Maybe your page is going to look like. Maybe it's a new feature like, that just came in. You know, that, exactly what it's going to look like. Might, might be an update, but that's yeah. there. Um, they offer professional uh, versions, uh, will give you MailChimp support. So if you want to have like, you know, this website's coming in a month, but maybe you should subscribe, and we'll tell you when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That, that sort of awesome. integration is going to cost you twenty nine dollars for one website, uh, forty nine for five, or seventy nine for unlimited. Uh, just another tool in the tool <laughs> belt, right? And just another tool in the tool belt. You can uh, load up a client site. But my favorite thing about it is that literally on the top bar of your WordPress um, dashboard, it says in red, "Coming soon mode active." See, so there's no question. Wherever you are on the page, it says, "By the way." If somebody's trying to hit your website, they're not going to be able to see anything right. because it's coming soon active, right. which right. is wonderful. You know, when the client asks, is my site live yet? Well, yeah. coming soon in big red yeah. flashing alarm yeah. section means no. This is wonderful. I mean, we talk all the time about value in our plugins. And I know this is a free plugin. They could honestly charge me money for this and it would be to me still a value. Uh, they, it's, it's just a really nice plugin. 
I'm, I'm starting to laugh at, oh. at the summary that Dan's put in in our show notes. So someday we'll show you the show notes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, ultimate landing page and coming soon. 28,000 downloads, 3.8 out of 5 stars. So certainly not uh, the 4.7 of yes. the previous plugin updated recently. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, why do you think it's a direct ripoff of the plugin? And can I preface this by saying, aren't most competing plugins a direct ripoff of one another this this is so similar it's uncanny okay. uh it it we actually talked on our other show fresh web uh fresh dev we talk about um you know making a plugin that stands out that's different and this is literally the same plugin i mean it's it's crazy how similar this is i, I too bad it's like all open source and stuff there's like there could be a lawsuit here um, I'm activating it for you now so you can take a look at it. Mm -hmm. But basically what this plugin does is everything that the other one does. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's as visually as appealing as the other one, but you can enable it right at the top. You have your preview page link right there. You have your logo information right there. And this is a newer plugin. I made sure I researched that before I opened yep. my mouth. Um, a much newer plugin. I mean, everything about it just looks very similar. They, they have the same exact, you know, um, you can upgrade and get, you know, MailChimp access just like the other guys can. I didn't look at the pricing on it because it, we talked... And our SEO to bring things full circle here in our in this week's SEO lunch, we talk about um, making something easy to find, and it wasn't easy to find the pricing for upgrading mm. to to the pro version of this of of this application. Hmm. I think you had to do a free trial first and go through all this stuff before you'd find out how much it was. Yeah. Um, but but it, does it does it work? Does it do its job? Yeah, it does its job. I just ugh. yeah, I know, I understand. It, it's frustrating as a as a as somebody who's creatively minded when something just gets so totally ripped off and yeah. aped. Yeah. Um, for that reason alone, I recommend the other one because I, I think that you should go with the original that's doing its job and doing it well as opposed to this kind of rip off version of it. But I mean, that's just me. That's just Fair sort enough. Of a <laughs> Fair enough. I think that, no, I mean, I, it's one of those things, it's hard because it's like contact forms. I mean, at the most simplistic level, you're putting in a contact page and you're just going to get an email when it comes yep. in, right? Yep. But there's so many other things that go on top yep. of that. Mm -hmm. Same, I mean, in this regard, you really can't really stretch this out to much of an imagination. Right. I mean, you're going to put up a page that says coming soon. Um, but I do understand like the flow of that one looks exactly like the other one. And it, it almost feels like it's incomplete kind of looking. Yeah, it looks incomplete compared to the other. But that's besides the point. I mean, it's one of those things like you say they're free, so why not? Right. Well, why even bother? Why why do they make this plugin that's, that's exactly the same hey, thing as the other? You know something? That's yeah. a, that's also a great point as Scott and I are talking yeah. to Fresh Dev. That, exactly. pl planning out your plugin. Exactly. You say to yourself, does this plugin already exist? Mm -hmm. Yes, no. Mm -hmm. Is it doing it well? Yes, yeah. no. If it's abandoned or not doing it well, mm -hmm. or you got something other, some other major feature you want to integrate into this, then you go and you make your own. Yeah. In this case, no. Yeah. All right, there you have it. Dan's finally picked clear-cut winners. I think after seven months of doing the show, <laughs> we finally picked some clear-cut winners here. If you're going to brand your new site, uh, as, as far as the login is concerned, check out Custom Login 2.0. Uh, and if you're going to put up a wall that says, coming soon, sign up uh, for this email list, ultimate coming soon page by Seed Prod, amazing products. What do you want to see? Let us know in the comments. Uh, over a thousand fans. We still want to hit 10,000, 10,000 now. Dan decided to add another zero as crazy as that sounds. Uh, let us know what you think. <laughs> what else do you want to see on the show? How else can we help you? Mm -hmm. Thanks everybody. Thank you guys.